What is up guys, Jake from OneHive here with our next cleanup video and this is one of the attacks from the uh, WHF4 or 200th Wind War that you guys just saw the recap of. You got to see a lot of attacks from there, but you're going to get to see a lot more because I'm using several uh, for videos like this. I'm going to have several in how-to videos that I'm working on. Uh, so just hang in there. You're going to get to see quite a bit of this uh, of this war still yet. Um, this base I, and this, these attacks I found very interesting because I love attacks where they bring almost the exact same army composition and do things just a little bit differently and it, it comes out differently. I really like those type of attacks. And that's exactly what this one is. Uh, now you will notice on this one that there is a, a bit of a discrepancy in hero levels. Uh, Trey's got 20, 24, and Hell, I believe, cleaning up might have 30, 30, if not very close. So he does have an advantage there, but I think there was a small adjustment Trey could have made that Hell did uh, that still would have resulted in a three star. Uh, so what Trey does, and he was the first person to attack the base, uh, he sends in a golem right here just to start tanking and drops a, a healer down. Now, the interesting part about this is, is that he's going to get a lot of use out of this healer. The queen it goes down right behind that, and he drops some troops over here to create the funnel so that everything funnels this direction. And the healer starts off healing the golem, and it's something that you don't, you know, you don't think about putting a healer down on your golem. But what's great about it is that as they get in here, the, the uh, healer drops off and starts healing the queen a little bit, so it actually gets a little bit of dual duty out of that. So there's a little bitty miniature uh, queen walk here, lets her walk up with that golem. Uh, sends another golem in here and here and breaks through this wall. So everything starts funneling up this direction, drops a, uh, a rage in here for to deal with the CC troops, drops a jump right here to let in for the queen or wherever they want to go. That was perfect. Also, it was kind of important, uh, the jump placement there, is to let him into this compartment. Uh, you know, obvious double giant bomb possible spot going either direction. Uh, the king's up there. So that's an important compartment to let his troops into as well, especially when you're bringing three golems. Uh, if he was to, let me clear all this out of the way, if he was just to drop his jump like this or something to where they couldn't, they're going to get landlocked much quicker. Uh, but because of the jump placement right there, it lets them continue to move basically three quarters of the way across the base if they want to. So when, when you bring a lot of golems like that, it goes back to a video I made God, probably eight months ago, about having a plan for your golem. Uh, don't just let them beat on a wall most of the way. They're, they're not worth it if you do that. You, had, you could be using those troop spaces better elsewhere. But when you put a good jump like that, let them keep moving through the base, they really are effective. So all this goes great. Um, but then when it comes time to deploy his hogs, everything sort of, because of the way he put the jump and everything, everything is moving this way in the base. His kill squad, everything is going this direction. And then he sends his hogs in from here. Now... It's okay, and you would think, okay, that's good because they're tanking for the hogs. And I would say, yeah, if he dropped a group of four to six just to sort of take out some of those defenses and help trigger any traps that are there, I would agree. But look at the backside of this base. Now, some of these are dead. These, these right here are all dead. I think maybe this is dead. But all of this stuff is still alive. And really, look at this. This still has, you know, giant bomb possible spots. So to send your hogs away from that and start using your heels early on, I think is a mistake in the fact that you're just going to run out, which is exactly what happens to, to Trey. He just sort of runs out of juice at the end. Had he let this kill squad sort of handle this part of the base, send his hogs in from the bottom, I think it would have still been a three-star. But we'll clear all this out of the way. We'll watch Trey do it because it was a very nice attack and very close to a three-star. Just didn't quite get it done. All right, here we go. Trey going in, sends that golem down immediately, just goes without any type of lure. Uh, put the a couple of uh, minions down over here to help create in that funnel like I was talking about. Just making sure that the queen was not going to travel that direction. Uh, remember that if you're ever going to try even a miniature queen walk, you've got to you've got to force her to go where you want her to. You can't just plop her down and hope she's going to go that way. you got to give her a little encouragement. Uh, but you see the golem doing all the tanking there, but also getting healed up. You know, golems have so much hit points. It not that it couldn't have done this without a healer, but obviously it would have a lot less uh, hit points left over afterwards. And you'll see here, starting with the rest of the golems and, and going to start working his way into the base, the golem still healing that, or the, the healer is still healing that golem up. And once these wall breakers uh, bust this open, he's, he's going to redirect and start moving his way back up here. The the healer is at this point hit, healing that golem and it's not being touched, so it is sort of regenerating that. There you see that nice jump spell in the rage. Uh, king going in. I like the patience on the king, keep him away from those uh, balloons coming out there. Uh, eventually he does get up in the mix, but those balloons are sort of chasing the, the golems while the queen is sitting back shooting them down, which is perfect, exactly what you want to happen. And then right here the defensive queen uh, takes a shot at the offensive queen, and she turns around and takes her out. Now everything's going to start moving up into that compartment I was talking about, uh, and you'll see the hogs coming in at this point. I just, 
you know, they sort of, you'll see towards the end of this raid, he still has a golem that's not even split into golemites. That even if he, they didn't clear that section of the base, which they might not, might not have, uh, the golem would have continued to tank for those things until his hogs made their way around. But you'll see, using a heal spell right there early because there was a bomb there, had to use one early, basically wasted one. Uh, the, that golem could have worked his way through, could have triggered that bomb all on his own, and he wouldn't have needed a healer there. So you see these few hogs he's sending on the back after that Tesla. Just a small group like that could have done it. Beautiful uh, poisons placement right there on those skeletons as they had grouped up. Absolutely perfect. Uh, but you'll see right here, no heal spell left. Okay, this is pretty important. No heal. He could have had that heal saved up. But you see the last little group of skeletons spawning, and then boom, giant bomb. This one's over. As soon as that giant bomb went off, uh, it was just a matter of time. Two Hogs too low, too much to do, and those skeletons beating on them. Uh, so just like I said, small thing. I think just a, a, a misjudgment maybe on which way to send the hogs in, but a very, very good attack. Absolutely wrecked the base. You'll see there. I'm sorry about that. Um, internet messing up popping up there uh, you'll see there the king did even go down he just ran out of time i mean the base was wrecked just a just one of those things where he ran out of time not enough cleanup troops uh, but we'll go back to the drawing board and talk about the corrections that were made all right back looking at the base here you see hell in on him again he does have 30 30 heroes obviously that makes a difference um if trey had 30 30 heroes maybe he would have got this done as well uh, but I do still say that Trey could have got it done with just the, uh, an adjustment that Hell does make on his attack. Uh, Hell obviously really liked the, the start of the attack because he did everything exactly the same. Golem goes down, uh, he, Healer creates the funnel, puts everything work its way up. Golem, Golem, Wall Breakers, uh, Jump Spell right there, Rage Spell for the CC troops, all that. It, I mean, you're going to think you're watching the same attack over, exactly the same. Uh, but as his troops start moving forward and getting into this area, Hell just comes in from the bottom on his hawks, you know, sends them right in. Uh, you, and that, what that allows him to do, you know, Tesla popping here, it allows him to heal both of these single giant bomb positions and not need a heal on the backside because the kill squad, it was going to trigger that bomb either way. And when, when the hogs do get around here, all of this is shooting and firing in on his kill squad. And he's able to just, you know, the hogs are just doing their thing. They're not even getting hit at that point. Uh, he did have a little remedy for the Tesla that popped over here, though, which Trey did not have the advantage of knowing that was there. Uh, he just dropped a, I believe it was a giant and a few wizards to take that out. Uh, but basically the exact same composition, the exact same attack, just a different angle on the hogs, different heal placement, and gets the three star. So let's watch Hell do it, and then we'll wrap this up. All right, as we said, basically the exact same setup to the start of this attack. Uh, minions and all, dropping those down, let them start to create that funnel. Golem goes down, heater for the golem, and then the queen to start clearing out this area and do that little miniature queen walk just around the base. Uh, a few wizards, uh, good timing on the wizards, waited till that cannon had engaged the golem so that they could walk right up, take out that cannon, that was perfect. Uh, everything here is going, again, the same and great. Everything's just walking around, cleaning out, and then here in just a moment, right here, the golems go down. You're going to start cutting into the base, creating that top side funnel with some more wizards, and then as soon as that's done, some wall breakers going in and the king to back everything up once the you know, he knows that nothing's going to stray. Again, sorry about that, guys. My internet is really acting screwy tonight. Uh, drops a jump spell in the exact same spot and a rage in the same spot. That's going to really, I like what it did there because that area was sort of cleared out and it starts pushing those golems away from the balloons. So the balloons are chasing the golems and the queen sitting back just sniping those balloons down with a wizard to help out, I believe there. So that's nice. Uh, you see the healer on the, on the, uh, Queen at this point healing her back up, so she's getting some double duty, or that, that healer's pulling some double duty, and right here's where the, the difference is. You see the golems, the king, all that's working their way up into that compartment. That bomb right there is already triggered. Here come the, the hawks. Knows that he can put these uh, heal placements right over these two single bomb spots uh, and just continue to keep his hogs alive. Waits patiently for those skeletons to pop until he gets them all together. Places that poison absolutely perfectly, almost pre-poisons them, which is nice. Uh, really kind of covered two bombs with that one heal. It did sort of get the hogs on their way out, but again, nothing's even targeting those really damaged hogs there. They're able to just walk up into that last heal, and right here at this point, it's too little too late. Everything's pretty much done for. Uh, just a beautiful attack and a good a good adjustment to make the, the, the difference in the three-star. I think that, again, had Trey done that, probably would have had a three-star. But again, in Trey's defense, it was the first attack, and he did have lower-level heroes. But hope you looked at this up. Hope you liked it, looked at something a little differently, maybe angles and things like that when you're deciding what you're going to do as your kill squad is moving one direction. It's not always best 
to put the kill squad uh, on the same side of the base. Maybe it's best to come in from the opposite side. Let the kill squad handle one side. Let your hogs handle the other. Hope you liked the video. Until next time, Jake from One Hive doing my best to help you guys suck less.